diseases of coffee so today we'll see the list of important diseases in uh, coffee so my name is nh shankar reddy and i am doing phd plant pathology animal university so these are all the list of important diseases in uh, coffee the first one is anthrocnose which is caused by glomerular cingulata and brown leaf spot which is caused by cercospora cafecola and damping of or collar rot which is caused by resectone solani and leaf rust which is very very important one which is caused by hemilia vastastrix and black rot or coliroga which is caused by cortisium salmonicola and root rot which is uh, uh, caused by two species uh, which are first one is the foam species the second one is fusarium species and berry blotch the last one is which is caused by cercospora cafecola so now we'll see in detail about one by one so the first one is anthrocnose or dieback so the same kind of anthrocnose that we also discussed in uh, uh, tea sorry coffee sorry tea so uh, uh, here in uh, tea anthrocnose sorry coffee anthrocnose or dieback is caused by glomerella cingulata so when come to the symptoms initially what will happen the berries so imagine you have berries right this is imagine it is a coffee berry or twig this is a coffee twig and these are all the coffee berries so initially what will happen the berries which is affected with the twigs small gray spots can be seen initially small gray spots can be seen on twigs later this gray spot slowly converted into black in color slowly converted into black in color and the shrinking of berries also can be seen we can see here shrinking of berries we can also see shrinking of berries as well as completely the berries are converted into black in color and a twig also converted into black in color from tip to downwards from the tip this is the tip right so from tip to from tip to downwards the berries and as well as the berries and as well as twig converted into black in color so it is almost uh, similar as as like of uh, tea i think we had already seen that you know anthrocnose in uh, i mean uh, uh, tea in tea we will see we had seen uh, anthrocnose right so same kind of symptoms we can also see here so coming to the management aspects uh, provide a drainage proper drainage along with you know a balanced fertilizer application along with you know uh, the spraying of bodum mist that 1% or ferbum 0.2% can manage this disease so coming to the next one brown leaf spot which is caused by cercospora cafecola so if you see the symptoms this is the leaf right so if you see the symptoms initially what will happen uh, small brown color spots small we can see here brown color spots we can clearly see here right so small brown color dark brown color spots can be seen see this dark brown color spots can later have what will happen coilages and you know it on the on, on the margins in the margins it, it, it is simply uh, like a cigar and you know uh, uh, cigar burning like symptoms can be seen but initially the symptoms are starts with the brown color uh, appearance and this disease is quite common in uh, nursery stages as well as in young plants also we can observe this disease in later stages what will happen uh, the berries are uh, the size will be reduced and black color appearance or black color uh, uh, shrinking of berries also can be observed in severe stages the berries will fall down but when it comes to the severe symptoms the brown color spots can be observed on the leaf in the later stages the all spots coilages and big spots will appear and it will uh, on, on, on the on, on the margins on the uh, side or margins if you see uh, like you know uh, cigar like uh, uh, a smoking like uh, uh, thing that we can see here coming to the management aspects uh, you know uh, uh, maintain the adequate shade too much amount of shade also will be responsible one of the responsible and spraying of bodum mixer 1% or capton or mango jib ferbum or zeride or carbon dizim especially spraying at september uh, uh, developing a canopy shade over the plantation will be very very efficient so coming to the damping of our collar rot which is caused by rhizotonia solani so coming to the the disease name itself indicate damping of or collar rot so rottening of collar or the initial damping of the seedling so if you see pre uh, pre emergence damping of and post emergence damping of we already studied in earlier stages right so in pre emergence damping of what will happen pre before emerging out from the soil the seed will die when it comes to the pre post emergence uh, it will die in the seedling stage right so if you see here in damping of our collar rot 
the, now it, it is in normally damping up is caused by pthm species and few cases it is rhizotonia when it comes to the t here damping up for cholera is caused by rhizotonia solani here on the right side in the second picture we can see here in post emergence damping of cholera region especially when it is in soil i will show you especially when it is in soil the collar region is slowly starts to damping off slowly starts to damping off and the death of seedlings will happen in the later stages so coming to the management aspect soil drenching with the carb, uh, copper oxychloride is a very efficient uh, uh, management factor this is for all kinds of damping off leaf rust which is caused by hemilia vastratix very very important disease actually this disease was uh, very severe in, uh, uh, in 1860s and uh, uh, you know 1860s of uh, in the middle 1860s and the uh, starting of 1870s in sri lanka the disease slowly appears in india in 1870 or 1869 from sri lanka to india it trans, i mean it spread from sri lanka to india in 1870 so when it comes to this uh, disease it is a leaf rust which is caused by hemilia vastratix this is the leaf right so let me tell you something here the disease can be mainly uh, appears on two weeks young older leaves so if the uh, if the if the leaves are 12 weeks uh, maybe uh, based on the according to the environmental condition the disease will definitely occur so uh, if the leaves are 12 weeks old the disease can be clearly seen here initially what will happen yellow color symptoms we can see yellow color transcurrent lesions or oil lesions or yellow color spots can be slowly observed on uh, upper surface when it comes to the lower surface this is the lower surface right when it comes to the lower surface powdery coating or powdery uh, you know uh, rust like pustules can be seen here right so powdery coating or powdery rust like pustules can be seen on the lower surface so when time uh, invading or when time goes on what will happen finally in severe stages brown to orange red color spots can be clearly seen raised brown to orange color spots can be clearly seen. we can see here raised orange brown color spots when you touch the spots we can feel that rough surface or we can we can feel that raised surface so if you see this uh, uh, you know uh, in microscope we can see billions and billions of spores so in severe stages what will happen uh, the complete defoliation the leaves all will defoliate and berries remains very small it can't develop properly so the management of this disease is uh, uh, during blossom stage we can spray bodo mixture at the rate of 0.5 percent especially at february and march when it comes to pre monsoon stage you know uh, that is especially at may and june time uh, we can spray 0. Uh, we can spray 0.03 percent of plant wax that is oxy uh, carboxin so oxycarboxin spraying at the rate of 0.3% can check this disease and along with adding of uh, uh, spreaders uh, and stickers like uh, linseed oil or tea pool oil or casein can increase the fungicide efficiency so to increase this fungicide efficiency we can mix all this stuff so the next one is black rot which is caused by choleroga sorry uh, black rot or choleroga which is caused by cartesium salmonicolor so the same kind of uh, disease we can also see in a tea right so the blackening of leaves and on the lower surface we can see the thin mycelial uh, web imagine let me tell you uh, if it is a leaf on the upper surface what will happen blackening of uh, uh, sorry uh, blackening of leaf on the lower surface we can see thin mycelium web can be seen this amount of thin mycelium web of mycelium can be seen so here as like of t here slowly the black color appearance can happens in the lower surface in later stages the entire leaf is converted into black color and not only leaves twigs and berries the infected twigs and berries also later stages convert into black color so when it comes to on the lower surface we can see the network of uh, mycelium on the lower surface can be seen and few berries may remain uh, brown in color coming to the management uh, aspects uh, removal of dead leaves and as well as twigs and uh, application of 0.5 percent of bodo mixture during the break of monsoons and as well as you know uh, you know uh, application of uh, uh, some uh, uh, i mean not application uh, taking up some cultural practices before the appearance of monsoon also can be uh, a very efficient to manage this disease so coming to root rot here the root rot is caused by two species uh, the first one is the foams and the second one is a fusarium so the first of all we will see the foams so when the root rot is caused by foams imagine it is a plant right it is infected by uh, imagine it is infected by uh, foams so if it is a foams infected what will happen yellowing of leaves can be initially seen yellowing of leaves can be seen defoliation and death 
if you see the yellowing of leaves defoliation and death and a brittle of brittling or you know a weakening of stem as well as a dark brown uh, appearance of uh, uh, root region or stem region this is caused by foams make sure if it is infected by foams yellowing of leaves can be seen defoliation and death and the important one is bark as well as a root and stem regions we can clearly observe brittling okay that is forms when it comes to the fusarium sudden wilting and yellowing of leaves death and defoliation of aerial pods so the same kind of symptoms also then be there in forms right so when it comes to the fusarium we can deviate uh, uh, fusarium from forms yellowing of leaves can be seen when it comes to the forms when it comes to the foam it is infected by root rot by foam brittling of stem what is the important one when it comes to the fusarium yellowing drooping of leaves defoliation death of aerial plant parts can be clearly seen the roots turn into brown or pinkish in color and there is no brittling or there is no such kind of stuff can be seen when it comes to fusarium so these are all the two root rots so coming to the management aspects uh, uh, you know uh, burning the planting sites you know uh, digging deeper inches ringing the bark and positioning the tray trees while uh, while thinning so the uh, most important one is application of lime especially 1 kg per plant can uh, uh, increase the ph once it get increased the ph so it will easily escape from this uh, root rot diseases and also the application of you know uh, uh, pc uh, pdcb uh, and brassicol 0.4% can maintain the plant vigor coming to the berry blotch which is caused by cercospora caficola the name itself indicates blotches can be seen on berries blotches in the sins so let us imagine it is a midri which holds that berries it is holding berries right so if you see the blotch the size of the fruit sorry size of the berry can be reduced especially this blotch can be seen on yellow sorry uh, green color parts green in green berries we can see clearly see like you know uh, light red to uh, dark brown the dark brown appearance can be seen and later stages what will happen the green berries can't uh, uh, co uh, cover the major portion or can't produce the major portions so it shrinks and sticks very fast so it shrinks and sticks very fast and especially we can see in on green berries we can see this kind of symptoms so shrinking can be the very important one here a spraying of 1% bodo mixture especially during june and uh, late august uh, can efficiently reduce this disease so coming to the questions we may expect you know uh, uh, maybe causal organism pink disease caused by or uh, most important one is the leaf rust uh, hemilia vastrostix uh, and the questions related to where it is introduced from where it is actually uh, severe in from and when when it is introduced in india from uh, which year and the, the such kind of questions will be uh, uh, can be asked so th this is the book which was published by myself uh, a vision into plant pathology complete student version so it was recently published and uh, this book will be very very useful for uh, all kinds of uh, plant pathologist you guys may check into